afternoon. We are currently in June now, and uh, this is episode 11 of the No Track Challenge. Uh, just popping around here quick to check on the uh, fermenting process of our two silos, or clamps, or whatever they are. Uh, this one here is at 92% ready, and the other one around here is uh, 75. Lovely. Yeah, this one uh, came up a little bit short uh, compared to the other one. It was, um, uh, I want to say we got three, just under three full loads in here. So it's about uh, 120,000 litres, give or take. Uh, and this one, obviously, we got quite a lot in. Uh, we got, uh, I think it was just under 160,000 litres, maybe? Yeah. I forget exactly. But the big surprise is what we've been doing uh, is these two fields that have been harvested. Uh, we decided to go ahead and plough them out and um, do the stone picking on them because, you know, we can't really sit around waiting all, all the time to uh, get them repurposed. Although uh, next game day, uh, which would put us into July, that field over there should be ready. So uh, what we've done, we've got this massive pile of stones here. Uh, as it turns out, um, we ended up with uh, almost exactly 6,000 litres of stones, which is three full tankfuls in the um, uh, stone picker that we got. So what we are going to do is just plonk them in that, uh, that trailer right there. Of course, it's not quite going to fit in one bucket load either, is it? Because that was the other part of my plan. It was like, well, if I can... Uh, even let me pick them up no. oh dear ok so we need the weight on the back of this if we're going to pick up that many stones how about I put a few off and down there we go ok maybe I can carefully get this up there <laughs> it's sort of worked ok lovely uh, yeah so what we're going to do is run these down to the uh, stone crusher and uh, pop them in and start that off processing. Uh, now we also have, um, uh, we did start the bread going as well in the old um, uh, productions building as well. So that has finally started uh, started processing and being made, uh, which is fantastic. Now um, obviously we're going to hang on to that as long as possible and sell it when it gets to its best price. So, hopefully, that, uh, I don't think that comes around until later in the year, anyway, so, there's a good old tip in there, lovely, all the stones are in, oh no, down, not up, <laughs> bring that back, lovely, now I'm just gonna, actually no, let's take this back around to the, uh, the building, because something else we are going to do as well today is uh, I decided as a way of keeping the um, egg pallets sort of going, as it were, without uh, letting them build up too much there, uh, we are going to purchase, in fact, let me get rid of that window, uh, we're going to purchase ourselves an auto load trailer. Uh, now it is, um, uh, which one's it going to be? It's the um, auto load version of the uh, uh, refrigerator. Berkman trailer, so uh, we're going to get that, and then we're basically just going to offer up the uh, uh, pallets to it, and uh, hopefully they will be absorbed into it. So uh, let me pop this just around here for now. Turn that off because we've got a uh, full pallet of eggs there, which is 1,400. I assume that's liters. Uh, then we've got like a half of one going there. Yeah, and uh, we've got three more full ones over here. So I figure uh, if we get one of those trailers, I think it's about 20,000 litres of eggs that it'll take. So again, I assume that's like 20,000 pieces in egg terms. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll get uh, this. Yeah, you see, we've got uh, just under 50, uh, just under 6,000 um, litres of stone in there. So that should uh, should go nicely into the stone crusher, I hope. And then we can uh, get a bit of lime production going on. Now that lime we may actually sell. I haven't 100% decided yet because we can get it for cheap down at the um, farm shop over there. Uh, so 
yeah, we could technically sell this stuff for a bit of a profit. Uh, which, you know, I don't see that as being a bad thing. You know, we uh, took the time and the effort to actually dig it up and bring it over here and you know, whatnot to get processed. So I'm not necessarily thinking that is a bad idea. But we'll see. So we're going to pop this in here. Give it a bit of a dumper room. And run around to the side. And activate it. Yeah, now we don't need it uh, selling just yet, but we do have uh, 5,000 litres in there already, and uh, we, um, we must have had a couple of thousand litres of stone in there as well. well. That's awesome, so we shall get this going. And... I did activate it, didn't I? Yes. Oh, crikey, that's going quick. <laughs> okay. Let's pop around here. You can see the salad just over there. We've got uh, six boxes still. Uh, oh, lettuce was the other thing too that we got uh, carrying on. We have... Uh, do we have a trailer hitch on the back of this? Oh, we do. I wonder. Let's have a quick look in here at the trailers. Where are you? Uh, it's all the way along at the end and I've got all sorts of weird and wonderful mods installed. So there it is, yes, the uh, auto load Berkman trailer. And we are going to get it in, uh, let's see. Let's have a look at the colour choices here. Yeah, it's got to. Well, it costs money to paint it, so we're not going to do that. We are just going to leave it as is. And uh, oh, that's interesting. Let's change the number plate. Pop that in uh, blue, and we want our personalised number plate on there, because why not? Lovely. So yeah, we are going to purchase that for the princely sum of 12 grand. And that is now ours. Now what kind of attacher does it have? That I think is a ball attacher, so it's probably not going to hook up to the back of this one. I would assume not. Uh, so yeah, we'll run this trailer back to the uh, farm quick, and uh, I'll head down to the store and pick up that auto load one. And uh, I shall see you yeah, let's see, probably um, back at the farm with that trailer as well. Because um, yeah, you don't really need to see me driving backwards and forwards too much. That's not uh, not the most exciting viewing in the world, is it? <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you back up at the farm with the new trailer in just a minute. All right, here we are coming back to the farm now. We've got our little trailer in tow, uh, even though the front axle of it is currently not on the ground. Oh no, it caught a bump there. <laughs> yes, this is perhaps a slightly larger vehicle than necessary for uh, for towing this little thing, but. You know, it is what it is, and we are going to keep up with it. So what I'm going to do now is park it here, and open the doors, and I know I could just pull up alongside stuff and it would auto-load it, but, because I'm weird, uh, you know, I like loading stuff myself for the most part, you know, where you can. Things like pallets and stuff, uh, I've always kind of liked trying to do myself a bit, so let's get these loaded into this. Now it should, I'm hoping, if I get close enough. Are you going to take it? There we go, it is taking it. Lovely. I wonder if I could actually pop it in there. There we go. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? Okay, now we are going to get these ones, I hope. Yeah, let's get these ones. And again, we'll do the same thing, we'll just plonk it on the inside of the thing there. And that will suck them in and uh, put them in boxes in there. And let's get this last one. Lovely. Oh yeah, you can 
can see they are stacking up quite nicely in there. That is smashing. And we'll go and park this back in its little cubby hole over here. Not if I can avoid spinning around. Oh, that reminds me, we've got another um, big bag of fertilizer sitting around the back of the sheds so I need to not forget about. So let's pop this in here. Oops. Turn that off. And uh, let's get back out over to this thing and see how we are doing. Is that going to tell us anything? Uh, owned by me and it's got 56,000 litres of eggs in it. So if that was 1,400 per pallet and we put four pallets in, yeah, that would make sense. So, yep, yeah, it is litres. And we got the old uh, boxes with barcodes. Yeah, I won't let us go further than that. That's cool there. But yes, that is eggs sat in there. So that is very lovely. Oh, got a... Turn it on to close the doors. <laughs> Smashing. Uh, I like that. I think that's uh, a, a neat way of doing it. And plus, uh, it'll keep the eggs, like the pallets for the eggs, out of the way. And uh, once we've got a full trailer, which will be 20,000 litres of eggs, uh, we can take that down to the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, down to the shop and sell it. Or possibly just around the corner to the... Uh, um, what's the other one? And the little farm shop and sell them there. Depends entirely on who's paying the most money. But yeah, uh, I mean, in the future we may just back this up to the thing. Because it looks like you can, you have to get fairly close to it anyway. So that's not too bad. I'm just, I'm a little weird sometimes with auto load things. Because, uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's one thing to, uh, to have like a bale trailer that uh, animates picking them up but like with the auto load bale trailers sometimes I tend not to like them quite so much I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them at all not not in the slightest I'm just a bit weird like that <laughs> but I like that that's that's actually not so bad uh, I, I can live with that uh, that sort of magic transference of items as it were <laughs> so uh, what else have we got uh, well, essentially what we're going to do in a minute is rest until uh, the next day uh, is there any is this ready yet to sell oh wow this one's actually ready to sell already and we've we have didn't we do that the last game day these things are just mental they are so quick uh, so let's have a quick look at the honey production uh, yep, yeah, we are doing quite well here. We got three more pallets, which is nine in total. And lettuce-wise, we have... I think we are fully stocked on them now. Oh yeah, we've got... Uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve... Uh, twelve, what comes after twelve? Fourteen? 16, yeah. Yep, so we got 16, I, I couldn't maths for a minute there. <laughs> My brain gave up. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got 16 pallets of lettuce there, and what have we got inside? We have another 24, or 2500 litres, which is... 500, so there's another 5 pallets in there. That's good. So let's have a quick check, if I press the right button, on the prices. So eggs, we are uh, on the up... But uh, the best price is going to be in November, October, November, for those. Uh, let's see, we've got honey, uh, oh, bread, let's have a quick look at bread. That's going to be December time. That's fine. Same with flour. Uh, honey, uh, that is going to be February. And we're currently, I mean, we're not far off. If we need cash, we can always sell some of that unless it goes down a bit more. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the other thing. I was thinking with that canola, what we might do is make some canola oil as well with a little bit of it. Because, uh, you know, I think we're fairly settled on... Um, 
Yeah, January for that, November for that. Uh, yeah, I think we're fairly settled on equipment for the moment. So, um, yeah, we may hold on to the crops. Some of them we may sell. Um, yeah, because we've got these productions on the go. Uh, we've got some salad to sell. Not a great deal, but probably about um, 10 grand's worth, I'd say. Uh, and we've got all these lettuce to sell, so we can wait on the prices going up for them. Uh, kind of the same with the crop too, you know, we'll uh, uh, we'll run some of it down. It depends on how much we get off of this, because the recipe for canola oil is... If I get into the production thing... Oh, we finished the lime already. Might as well turn that off again. Um, yeah, now we've got 22,000 litres of lime. Nice. Uh, mixed salad we're doing... What was it I was looking for? Oil. Here we go. Canola oil is two to one. So, you know, depending on what we get for that, I think they're all two to one, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, depending on how much canola we get out there, uh, we may look at getting um, a couple of thousand litres of oil on the go, because uh, that sells for... If I can find the thing here... Oil, oil, oil... Oil, canola oil up to 3400 which is about a grand more than the equivalent amount of raw canola so eh, swings and roundabouts but depending on how fast it produces if I'd have checked that that would have been handy uh, canola oil 2400 per... Ooh, so that might actually produce quite quickly because bread that we've got going at the moment is 1400 and we are currently sitting on not that much bread and going products there we go and we've got 282 litres of bread already that's not so bad uh, but yeah so I think now we are going to go and have a bit of a rest and uh, then come back and uh, well, I suppose I could actually sell this thing couldn't I? well we don't need the money at the moment and I don't know when the, when the best value for uh, silage actually is. It's going to be January. Uh, we've got 260 at the moment on the up from the BGA. And the best is, yeah, later on. So we'll hold on to this silage, I think, for a bit. Um, we could always sell the little one off if we need space or we've got grass to cut. Um, that should be fine. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go have a bit of a rest and pick it up again uh, in July when we can hopefully harvest that pesky canola. <laughs> Right, oh, here we are now. It is July and uh, we're getting a nice early start, 6 o'clock in the morning, and our canola is ready to go. Now, uh, since we did um, sleep through a large portion of June, I say we slept through June, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> it sounds weird like that, but uh, yeah, we've got another um, pallet load of eggs going here. Uh, the, um, uh, what's that thing? The greenhouse is doing quite nicely. And uh, the honey production has ramped up quite a bit as well. We have, uh, how much more honey do we have? Uh, we are working on the fifth pallet again over there, which is lovely. So uh, we are going to... I don't know if you can see it quite from here. Yeah, we got uh, working on the fifth pallet, which is brilliant, so we'll have to take that out soon. Uh, I did check on the bakery as well, or the uh, production building. and uh, That is uh, full up with salad now, and everything else is going into storage. Uh, like internal storage. So we are going to start on this. Let's get ourselves some delicious canola harvested. Now, I don't know how much of this uh, we are going to get, but we shall do a headland and find out. Because it was fully fertilised, and we have bees. <laughs> and uh, now it was only uh, like 95% um, yield bonus or whatever it is in the base game uh, because we didn't actually roll it or mulch the uh, previous crop uh, because this is the first crop we do not have another crop on 
in here yet. So, uh, oh, actually, yeah, that makes this the uh, first harvest of uh, our third field now. So we've just got to cycle these three fields two more times each, and we'll have completed that part of the challenge, which is good. And uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it last episode. I don't think I did. Uh, we have had confirmation from uh, Warco on the uh, exact amount of money that we need to get to finish this. And uh, yeah, it's uh, Mr. P uh, Gaming's live house. Uh, Mr. P uh, posed that question. Uh, just for sort of clarification purposes, and uh, yeah, uh, we found out from Walco that we are going to need to have a total in the bank of two and a half million, which is not a small amount. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that's basically a million of your chosen currency's worth of profit on top of the uh, 1.5 million we started with. So yeah, we are going to have to make a, quite a bit of cash. And you know, I have a feeling that's not going to be too big of an issue. Uh, yeah, between, uh, for me, you know, I don't have contracts that I can do on this, uh, this map, but there are a lot of productions going on. There's plenty of land to buy up so I could uh, easily increase the size of fields. Um, there's always forestry, that's always an option. Actually, that might not be a bad option. Maybe I should consider buying a small tree planter or something and uh, honking out a load of trees quick. Because uh, furniture usually sells quite well. In fact, let's have a quick look at the price of furniture, which isn't in there. <laughs> the price of furniture. Furniture, where are you? Furniture. Just under four grand. And, yeah, that is, as right now, in fact, interesting. Now, I wonder if our um, production facility can make furniture if we give it wood. No, I don't believe it can. It must have to have planks first. Let's check down here and see. No, okay, no, it doesn't actually make, uh, can't actually make it, and that's okay, that's not, uh, not a bad thing, so yeah, we'd need to buy uh, a sawmill or a uh, carpentry or something in order to make that, so, but that's still, that's not a bad, uh, not a bad option. Now, obviously we've got silage that's uh, paying out fairly well uh, and we get the digestate from that which we're using for fertilizing uh, and of course there's crops as well I mean these aren't massively big fields that we got here but uh, they are fields nonetheless oh, I missed a bit we cannot have that we need to make sure we get every little bit off of this field he says spraying the grass with uh, canola <laughs> residue, whatever it is. Uh, but yes, so we are getting around to the end of the first headland, which is not bad. Yeah, we're coming up on about 50% full as well. Uh, not, oh, I missed another little bit there. I'll get that later. <laughs> get that on the way back around. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's interesting. About not quite 50% full from this uh, first first headland, but looking at that, I'd imagine we're probably going to get uh, around about 14,000 liters, give or take. Yeah, a couple of tankfuls, I think, we'll get off of this field. So yeah, that's not uh, not terrible, and uh, probably what we'll do with. Uh, a large portion of this, unless we actually need the money significantly, or we may um, convert that to oil, or at least convert some of it to oil, because obviously we're going to have to get everything out of the uh, the way of it so it can um, plonk out the pallets. So that's that's the only problem with having multiple products running through the same uh, same facility. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I shall carry on with this. We may have a small musical interlude while I harvest, just for something a little bit different. 
because this is at least the first time we've been doing canola. So yeah, I shall continue on with this and see you all in a little while. this strip, the last, uh, last bit of field to harvest here, and uh, we've actually done a little bit better than I was expecting. Uh, we have got uh, three full loads, the um, uh, class trailer over there is completely full, and uh, we've also got another closing in on 3,000 litres worth here in the harvester. It'll probably be about 2,800-ish maybe, by the time we get all of it. But uh, yeah, that's that's actually not bad at all. I was not expecting to get that much out of it. You know, th from the way it looked from the first uh, headland, I was kind of expecting it to be, uh, uh, you know, at most maybe two and a half to three. But uh, yeah, we've totally um, gone over three uh, three full loads. So yeah, it's a total of uh, I want to say about twenty five thousand because we've got uh, 2,800 in this, and I want to say it's 22,500 in the other. So yeah, we should have just over 25,000, which is perfect. So what I am going to do is offload this uh, remaining part into the uh, uh, silo that we have here. If I can line up on it correctly. Okay, I'm on. No. Okay. It should accept it. It's accepted. Ah, there we go. I just wasn't quite far enough out. Lovely. Uh, yeah, and uh, so uh, what we did uh, decide we, I, I, me, us. <laughs> One thing that did pop into my head while I was driving around there was um, what we could do is actually mulch that field. Because uh, if you may or may not know, the, I'm going to repair this quick while we're here too. 
range, hopefully I'm in range. Uh, the Batwing mower, of course I'm not. Um, the Batwing mower that we have uh, does actually double as a mulcher. So uh, we can run that through the uh, thing here and watch me not be able to get to it. There we go. Let's give it a quick repair. It's not going to cost much, but yeah, always worth keeping that in tip top condition. Uh, yeah, so the uh, the Batwing mower that we have over here, we could reconfigure that as a mulcher and actually mulch those fields, which I don't think would be a bad idea, but that is the wrong button. <laughs> That's still the wrong button. That's the button I was looking for. <laughs> uh, yeah, essentially um, what we can do is uh, next time we can actually reconfigure that and mulch that field, because... Um, what we are going to do for next time is pop in precision farming, since we've got all three of these now fertilised, um, harvested. Now, I'm not sure what it's going to do to our grass fields, so yeah, we'll figure that out as we go. But, uh, yeah, we now have this. It's uh, ready to be sort of mulched and reset, so we shall hop into this. There we go, yep, 25, uh, 22,500. And what we are going to do is toddle down to the, uh, uh, what's that place, the um, productions building, and drop some of this off in it. And uh, then I think we're going to come back and uh, have a, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, um, we'll get precision farming loaded on, and then see about uh, going over these fields, and see what, uh, what happens with that. So, uh, on that note, um, if you've enjoyed whatever this was, then yeah, please give us a like. Hit the old uh, subscribe button there too, if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, it all, all helps grow the channel, which would be an awesome thing to happen. <laughs> As, and yes, uh, comments are always welcomed. And if you would like to share this video, that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, on that note, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope we'll see you next time as we continue on with the No Tractor Challenge. <laughs> Cheerio, everyone. <laughs>